In this video we are going to be taking a look at how to apply a patch on the contributed Drupal module the quick way. So we have a bug in our contributed module. We are googling for this bug and we are checking the issue queue of the contributed module and we see that there is a patch for our problem. The next thing we have to do we have to check if we have the correct version on which the patch applies and then we're going to download and apply the patch with the help of git. So here I have a Drupal instance and I have a book with the Kint module. I just simply used Kint to print some variables in a preprocess function in the view, but it produces an error. So what I can do is I could simply copy this bit and I can go to Google and I could say devel and error and in the devel issue queue we see it's under devel issues there is exactly the problem that I'm facing and also the good news is that there is actually a patch so let's go ahead and check in our Drupal instance which version of the devel module do we have. So I'll simply copy this and I'll open it like this because I have the problem just on one page and I'll go under extend and search for devel and obviously I have the 8.x12 version. So if we go to the drupal.org project page of the devel module, we see that I have the latest table version, but the patch actually applies to the latest dev version. So what we have to do is we have to install the latest dev version and then we have to apply the patch that we have here. So let's quickly go ahead and download the latest dev version. And let's go ahead and delete the other, the older develop version and get the latest dev version. That's perfect. As we are updating to the latest code base, sometimes, so devel, now it says the latest dev, but sometimes we basically have to run also the update PHP. So let's go ahead and do it. Or one could also run drush updb so yeah basically there is nothing to update it's a good idea to check it usually and now we have the latest devel version of the devel module so the latest dev version of the devel module so the next thing we want to do is we want to basically download this patch we're clicking on it and we're clicking on save as and we're going to save it under the devel module and we're going to lose the txt extension that's perfect and the next thing for the next task, you would have to have git installed. Let's jump to Aqua Dev Desktop. And in order to jump directly to the code base of our Drupal instance, we'd have to go under Open Console. And here, if we do ls, we see that we are in the Drupal root folder, so we have to change to the modules contrib develop. So we are in the develop module now, 
and we also have the patch here so just to check the problem still exists even with the latest dev version it is possible that sometimes in the latest dev version the patch is already merged and you would not have to patch it but for our case it's not merged so we're, we would have to patch it anyway so how to patch it we're in the root folder of the contributed module and we have the patch here so what we have to do is we have to use git apply minus v and we're going to say devel dot so basically the name of the patch and as we hit enter it says checking patch applied patch so basically it applied cleanly because we are applying it to the correct version of the module and the changes from the patch applied so let's go ahead and check if we're seeing the kint output now yes we're seeing the kint output that means that the patch just worked and we are able to continue our work perfect so if you like this video please check the links in the description like the video subscribe ask if you have any questions and thanks for watching